Hello. Hold on while we get situated. You stuck. What's up, fam? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, it is Tuesday Talk. Y'all know what it is. 7.30 on the dot. Um, coming to you tonight with a nice little subject. Um, I'm going to let Dre talk about this one. Y'all got to start sending us topics. We running out of topics. So. No, we not. He is just picky on which topics we should discuss. What was that? Balance. Your topic. Topic night is balance of relationships. Um, do you... Is your relationship balanced? If it's not... How do you go about... Or what do you think... You as a unit need to do... To balance it? Hey, Trey. If you're... If you are, we like to know um, how, and is that you know how's it working for you? Um, I just feel like that in it, you know, because there's a unit, um, there should be some type of balance. Uh, Ron and I, when I was trying to think of a topic, I brought this up, and she asked me, oh, you know, asked me, am I, do I feel you know balanced or whatever? And I think uh, my answer was yes. Um, so as I got older, I feel feel myself being more um, passive, and I just don't like a whole bunch of a whole bunch of anything these days. So everything is whatever. Um, everything can't be whatever, and and some things where I might look at things passive that shouldn't be. Ronnie's will be more aggressive when I end which what we need at that time. Um, so I feel that's how. Um, she that's one of the ways that she balances me. So, what do you guys think? How are you balanced in your in your union? And and how many of you actually come into the union to get balanced? Like, are you just going into a relationship like I just want this relationship and that's it? Or are you going in with goals like in this relationship? We're going to accomplish this and this and this and this. And by five years, I hope to have accomplished this. By 10 years, I hope to have accomplished this. Or are you just good living life and just being together? So I used to, um, it used to be a saying, saying that something about completing someone. Mm -hmm. And Ronnie said that um, you should always be completed. Because two incomplete people, how did you break it down to me? I don't remember. I just remember that I think, like, you can't, like, go into a relationship looking for somebody to complete you. You should already be um, a, a, a complete entity in yourself first. And then, you know, when you guys come together, you're coming together as two whole people, um, not two half people looking to be a whole. But that's just my opinion. So... The way I look at that is, I think sometime in life, you might get about this far, which is cool or whatever the case may be. Or somewhere down the line, you line up with, which will I hope be your soulmate, mm -hmm. to take you the other um, steps of the way. Um, it works for some people. Like I said, everybody's different. But I think... Um, that and balance the same. I guess I look at it as the same. Because again, if you're a workaholic, someone to offset that. And I wish I knew the words. This there's a actual language. Mm. Reverend um Jenkins from First Baptist, he broke it down because he was saying how he's something. I forgot the word, and his wife is the totally opposite. If but if going according to whatever this thing is, they shouldn't be together because like he's overly aggressive where she's not mm. type of thing but there's a word for it I forget um, one of the things where some people would think I want all all mega superstars to make a championship team and he was like no you need someone that's not this person here may not be a mega superstar but, but he's the glue to keep a team in order because mm. um, 
he may know how to talk to the team. He know how to get people in the right positions and things this nature. He might be not be best athlete, mm. but he has a trait that I should keep all of them together. So that's when he was saying that's why she be balanced. So you should never have look for. Mm, no, make it seem, let's let, use basketball as an example. Everybody try to put all these mega superstars together and then they wonder why it didn't work because everybody, there's no one there to balance them because they all on the same page. They all, LeBron is this, KD is this. So if everybody's going on, who's going to rebound? Who's going to, you know, do the sits? Who's going to do the, the, the jobs that the superstar is not doing at the time? So I think this has to be, again, a balance. And I think in a relationship has to be, if I'm, again, someone is overly aggressive, I think, my opinion again, y'all. Um, someone is less aggressive because if you both aggressive, mm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I mean, everything is almost gonna be a fight, y'all. Y'all, and not even with you guys. I mean, everything y'all attack, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be that just an attack. But if you have that balance, with one person might be aggressive in this field, the other person can be like, let me take this one, babe, because their approach might be a little different. You can get further ahead. So that's what I think of when I think of balance and when I use the word. Um, complete um so again we just trying to get some feedback to see what you guys think or how do you go about it and not to mention that i think also um when you have balance there's there's not two people that are let's say financially you you know one might be an overspender and one may be more reserved mm -hmm. and that person will be able to shut you down and, and slow you down from you know making impulse impulse purchases or or things like that or um you have two people and one of them wants to go out all the time and the other one you know may say you know hey let's not do that let's you know let's chill this week we don't need to go out all the time we don't need to spend money on this and can't pay our rent you know so i think it's good to have um the those two those two uh people where one is is putting that balancing act in there and the other is you know and, and no matter what it is because i think in each relationship you're gonna have one person that is good at something and one person that is good at something and and the per the things that he is good at i may not necessarily be good at and vice versa so that's where that balance comes in right so one of these ministry is not my ministry no nah, not <laughs> at all so uh but um the other note is, um, with, can you accept balance? Mm. You know, can you, or let's go back to the completion thing. What if you go into a situation and you feel that you're so complete that you don't need another person to complete you because you feel you're that complete? So are you willing to accept the balance or the other half that can take you to that step further? Because mm. some people get so caught up in, themselves sometimes I'm like I'm good I don't need this I, I handle all this you know by myself where I can do this and whatever when someone else can come in and try to make a situation a little bit just a little brighter a little better and we that anal or so caught up on our sales now and our mind that we we missed the help mm. so that's something too and um where we have to check ourselves going into a situation and uh, um this might be piggybacking on something we talked about before, but again, people that's been like single for a long period of time, um, are they equipped to handle sharing like responsibilities or accepting criticism mm -hmm. or um, just someone else's opinion? Because again, it's just been you for so long. Mm -hmm. So um, do you think about that before you get in a relationship or did you have to go through that um, entering your relationship, like checking yourself, you know, for balance? In order for this to work, I need to understand that he or she is better at that. That's their ministry. The other person be like, yeah, he or she is better at that. You guys understand that, and that's what you guys attack or whatever case may will come together. You know, this is better when we work together at this. Mm, and what about those people that they may have a balance, but they're controlling with it? You know, just... Just I I know how to do this, but I'm gonna do this, and you don't need to do that. I got it. Or right, you know, what about those people? Yeah, which is like similar to what I just said. Like some people just because I've been I'm I'm um, one of these is is good at numbers, probably better than I am, or whatever the case may be, right? But so if I bring up suggestion that might have to do with numbers, you know, is she 
no, that makes no sense. I do this all the time. This is what I do. So it should be this way, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I, I, I cook, whatever. Am I going to shut her down because she come in the kitchen and be like, why don't, why don't you try to use this seasoning with that? I might, mm-hmm. that might pair with it. I'm gonna, how you going to tell me I cook? No, I'm going to be like, let's see, you know? Um, or I'm, or vice versa. If you're cooking, mm-hmm. no, if I'm cooking and you come in and, and give me uh, advice on it and I'll shut you down. I mean, just because right. you a cook, you don't know everything. Exactly. I've been cooking before you and I was co- I'll was i be cooking after you. And right. da, 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 da. you know? um, yeah, so I just think, like, how do you, have you ever witnessed that and how did you guys handle that? Um, I don't think we ever ran into anything like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we pretty much try to stay in our own ministries. Um, <laughs> our own, and our own, I our really, own. really want him to stay in this cooking ministry, y'all. He trying to bring me over to that mm-hmm. ministry, but that is not my ministry. I mean, I can cook. And that's what he keep reminding me. Like, you can cook, so it's, a, it's your ministry. But I would like us to have specific ministries. Specifics. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like, again, did you guys have to... Was that a, ever a challenge in any of you, uh, you any of your relationship? And how did you handle that? Mm. So again, um, so far, I think we pretty much stay in our own, um, in our own lanes. Um, we compromise when it needs to be compromised, but pretty much so far we've been, um, we've been pretty good at it. I know? think so. I understand what she's good at, and I leave it to her, and you know, vice versa, whatever. So, I think we work together well. You know, um, I think we both know what it is we're good at like he said and what it is we're not and then we also have some things that both of us are good at and we just work together Mm -hmm. in those things like financially you know i'm good but so is he so we work on that together you know Uh, cooking yeah he's better but (laughs) go ahead ronnie can cook so so we work on it together (laughs) (laughs) but um so yeah you just have to find a balance and um I think we've done that. Um, so far, so good. So, just want to get on here and touch base because it was something we just thought about. I was like, you know, let's talk about that. You know, you know because some people do go through that, that balanced struggle. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And when and and actually, I'd be interested in hearing from the, a couple that is in balance, where you might have two, uh, very competitive people. Um, mm. two people that are are both the heads. I would really be interested in hearing. From that, how that works, you know. Does somebody bow down? <laughs> you know, how how does that happen? There's a situation that came up, and the word submissive came up, mm-hmm. and this young lady was basically trying to say that she don't bow down. She was using the word submissive in that way, because she gets some sub means under. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, That's true. I never thought about that submissive. Sub-mate. So and I was like, yeah, I don't think. That's what they mean, though. So she was like, she can do anything a man can do. Okay, we're not saying you can't. So her man was coming over prior to them being married. Her man would come over, cut her grass. Without even asking, just show up, cut her grass. She just hit the lawnmower. Wake, she wake up. What in the world? Cut her grass. Uh, he if he over there, he go put gas in the car before we leave. Um, he take out the trash. And then these things she asked. So I explained to her, I said, because he's been submissive to his role. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She took offense to that word role. I think we all play a certain role. I think so, too. I think we we are supposed to. Yeah, And I'm not saying one role is better than the other, whatever. I mean, she could have taken the truck. I don't care who took it out, but I'm just saying that he's been raised that that's a man's role. And that's what he, you know, that's what he's following. So but I was explaining that to her. How many people are, are getting out of that, that male female role, you know, where the a woman lot. is the cooker and the man goes and makes the, the money and the woman stays home and cooks and cleans the house. I think a lot of people are getting out of those roles. Because society, I think has been so changed. And again, it's, it's sad because women had to take on both roles. Yeah. Um, so, they're taking care, bills, house, taking out the trash, doing everything, doing everything. So, which goes into what I need a man for. Yeah, on, yeah. You know, doing this, this, and this. Yeah, and and it's sad because if you're raising a young lady, um, and she sees that, and you're and you're, I guess you're, you know, coming off as this is how it's supposed to be. 
right? Yeah. So then you're raising her to be that way. So then it'd be hard for her to find a man because you find a right man who who doesn't who is raised again to play that role. But you have this young lady now who's been in, has been better than her that she take care of all the roles. And then it's because mm. it's class. You just clash because he's trying to do his role, but then she's in that lane, mm. and you know, yeah. so it's confusion. So it's, um, we have to be mindful of that too. Like who's watching this? So it's, I'm not. I, I'm all for if you want to hit me raw. I get it, but I think there's a time and a place for that. That's all. Mm, and what's the time and place for that? If you have a man that's willing and is and is doing what a man's supposed to do, let that man do it. You know what I'm saying? Man, I saw something real funny today. There was a couple on a date. I think it was a, a joke, but there's a guy and a female on the date, and, you know, the, the bill is getting ready to come, and she like, you know, I just thank you so much for this date, and let me let me pay for it. And he's like, no, no. You know, I'm a man. I was raised to be a man. I'm going to take care of care of it he taking out the card and she's like no 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 i understand that i'm not trying to take your role from you you know but i just want to say thank you so when the bill come and he look at it he like oh yeah you go ahead and take care of that that's that's fine i appreciate the thank you and she looks at it and she like oh so you just gonna let me pay all of this my 300 dollar bill and he's like, no, 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 you want to be the man. <laughs> you go ahead and you go ahead and pay for that. Cause God spoke to your heart and took it all for me <laughs> to pay for you. So, you know, sometimes, you know, women kind of kind of overdo it because they're used to doing for themselves all the time. So they cannot help but to say, Hey, I got you. Let me give you this money. Let me do this for you because they're so used to having to do it on their own. They don't they don't know how to accept somebody doing it for them. Um My cousin's like that. He, like, he wanted to a female who wants to, sh let me say help. He doesn't believe in help because what happened is with men, some, some men, I'm sorry. This pride that we have is going to be the death of us. Mm. So, we become so prideful so that we can't welcome help. So, he feels that because he's not in a certain situation to either do more or at least match what she's doing I've ever not taken it at all mm. I don't know if that's cool I don't think so you know what I mean I, I get it because that's where the balance comes in right <laughs> yeah, but if he doesn't have balance within himself right he can't bring balance to a relationship and this is one of the things I was saying a lot of people look for relationships when they're not like all good themselves and you know a toxic person or a person that is not ready um, for a good person can really ruin a good person like women there are a lot of women out there that are like I, I I'm trying to find a, a good guy and there are no good guys out here but then you realize that actually you know you've been hurting you've been through a lot of stuff you've been through a lot of mess so when you do get that good guy you're not going to be ready or able to handle that so yeah. I think people should be very very conscious um, of that when you get into that situation are you healed are you you know, over the mess that you've been through, you know, because you don't want to taint um, something that could potentially be great for you. Yeah, hey, can remember, hurt people hurt people. And <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so um, ditto what Ronnie said, because if you know you're not ready, which that's what I say in the way I kind of respect him and that note because you know what, he know he's not ready, he's not built for that. So he exits some of the situation. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I get that. Yeah, but it's again, it's, a, it's more of a pride thing. And we have to be comfortable with, with ourselves. But um, you also have to be, guys also have to be comfortable in knowing when they do have a strong woman who makes a lot of money and all of that. Are they comfortable enough to accept that and still be, you know, that man that they need without feeling some kind of way? Well, that goes, that, that goes on the... the some of that falls on female too. Now, if she's one of the ones who throws in his face and keeps it over his head, and it right. it plays a role. Right. Um, but no, but she's respectful of it. And it's more, more power to you. Yeah. Make all the money you want. You know what I'm saying? And that's more money for the household. Yeah, it know? should be. It's not about what's one person because you're a unit, you become one. Right. This is what the house brings in. This right. is what we 
bring in. So Monique said one time she was married. She was like, yeah, I'm a breadwinner. I make all the money. You know what I'm saying? This he don't even have to work. But he's the king. He's still the, the head of my house. Yeah. Um, and that was big. You know what I'm saying? So some women understand it. Um, some don't. Um, I don't know if it's an upbringing thing or whatever. But um, I know I used to you know tell my girls all the time like let a dude be a dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But recognize when he's not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, I, I always try to tell my son, you know, be a man. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things, certain roles, um, I expect of him. Um, so when it happens, um, when he get in situations, because when our kids go out, whatever case, when they're a product of us, so mm-hmm. if they're not doing the things that, in hindsight, that we feel we embedded in the kind of, well, I know with me, I feel bad. I'm like, oh, goodness, I know I told him better. Yeah, oh, I know oh, I told definitely. Him better. So, um. I'm mindful of that too. So, um, and and again, I try to teach kids balance. You know, you know, you're an over aggressive individual. Being with another over aggressive individual may not really equal out. And this person not as aggressive. So don't look at him as being weak or whatever. Mm. You know, he's just not as aggressive as you. And you probably need that to balance you out. Um, my um, one of my daughters was seeing this guy, whatever. She thought the same because he was a mellow guy. You know, he just. He like to go for walks in the park type mm-hmm. guy, you know. Was mm-hmm. Cool, bro. He was boring. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. somebody, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, just wanna. But he balanced. You know what I'm saying? You want to rip and run. He's like, look, let's just chill. Just chill out. Maybe not all the time. You know what I'm saying? But slow down a little bit. But yeah, and that's what compromise comes. Yeah, from. but she at the time was young, so she didn't understand that. She was at that age where they run. Yeah. Um. So he was a little. That might be one of the situations where it just, that goes against the old saying that women mature quicker than men. That might be the only situation that I know of that maybe the guy mature quicker than the, the female. Maybe. Um. So, in hindsight now, she looked, and he went off, and, you know, went to the military, he's doing well for himself, all these good things, whatever. He just was a little more stable-minded yeah. at a young age Um. that maybe she was ready to um, to be with, so... So they wasn't even they wasn't balanced, um, cause she was she wanted to rip, but he wasn't. I don't want to say strong enough, but, but I'm gonna use the word, and I could be wrong. He wasn't strong enough to tame her adolescence I got you. behavior. I got you. So uh, I don't know. So anyway, it's about balance, y'all. Just about balance. That's all. Um, I just wanted to know how did y'all think about it, how y'all felt about it. Um, Y'all gotta forgive us. We are exhausted tonight. Yeah. I don't know if you could see it or. I think it's the rain too. Or whatever, but yeah. I don't know where y'all whatever, but it was rain. It been raining for a while, and you know, rain rain makes me sleepy. Mm, yeah, and then I, see, I, 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 yeah, I'm like, right then you get the confirmation of the the thunder. But, but um, but yeah. So this we come on to wrap about the night. So you know, I think a lot of people might be busy night or. You know, my grandma used to say, you hear that thunder and all that, cut everything off. Cut it off. So. Cut it off. But again, you know, we've been, it'll be on YouTube so you guys can catch it. Also been our story, I guess, for what, a day? It's on the stand for 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours. But it'll be on YouTube. Um, go in there and see what you think. Um, give us a lot of thumbs up, hearts, and all that good stuff. Hit us up and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. We got a lot of exciting things coming down the pike. Right. Hence the reason why you see us looking like we are exhausted. Mm-hmm. There's so much going on. There's so many things happening. So, you know, keep us lifted up in prayer. Um, keep, man, we, as we keep you all lifted in right. prayer often. Right. All right. And just pray for strength. Lord. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. We love y'all. Oh, my t-